Welcome to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We are pleased to provide you with free piping educational videos. This channel is ideal for beginners and seasoned professionals. Before starting the video, be sure to click the subscribe button. First of all, I would like to express my deep gratitude to our subscribers who became members to help our channel. In this video, we will learn step by step how to easily calculate the distance between the centers of two elbows in pipelines, the degree of cut of these elbows and the length of the pipe section between these elbows. Let's start our education video. We prepared this video according to the 6-inch pipeline. We need to calculate the length of the red color 6-inch pipe piece used in the fabricate of this pipeline. As you see, the pipeline comes horizontally, then goes up at a 30 degree angle and continues horizontally again at angle 60 degree height of 600 millimeters. To find the length of the red pipe piece, we first need to calculate the distance between the centers of the pipe elbows, then we can find the length of the red color pipe by subtracting the lengths of these two elbows and two gaps for welding from the total length. In pipe isometrics, length measurements are calculated from imaginary lines passing through the center of the pipes. This thin line you see is the imaginary line passing through the center of our 3D pipeline and we will calculate the measurements from this imaginary line. When the pipeline rises at a 30 degree angle, it forms lines with a length of 1040 and 600 millimeters, passing through the centers of the elbows. If we combine these lines a right angle triangle will be created. The hypotenuse of this right angle triangle is the distance between the elbows in the pipeline. Let's mark the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle with H. Then the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle will be H. The base side will be 1040 mm and perpendicular side will be 600 mm. Let's find out a length of the H hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. We will use the Pythagorean theorem formula to find our hypothesis in the right angle triangle. What is the Pythagorean theorem formula? Pythagorean theorem definition shows the relationship between the three sides of a right angle triangle. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Hypotenuse square equals perpendicular side square plus base side square. If we apply the Pythagorean theorem formula to our example, then h hypotenuse square equal 1040 square plus 600 squares. We are continuing the calculation, h hypotenuse square, equal 1441600. We are continuing again and found, h hypotenuse equals square root 1441600. Using the multifunctional calculator, we find h hypotenuse equal is 1200 millimeters approximately. As we knew, the length of the H hypothesis is also the distance between the centers of the butt weld elbows. So, the overall length between the centers of the butt weld elbows is 1200 mm. If we subtract the lengths of the elbows and the gaps for welding from this total length, we can find the length of the red pipe section. Two different size elbows are used in this pipeline. One of the 30 degree and other one is 60 degree elbows. Now let's calculate elbows length. For standard degrees of pipe elbows such as 45 degrees and 90 degrees, elbow center to end dimensions are available in standard pipe charts. But many times, custom elbow angles are required at site which should be cut from standard 45 degrees or 90 degrees elbows. Since the cutting angle of the elbow is calculated from the desert side of the elbow, we complete the straight angled three corner to the flat angle. The cutting angle of the upper elbow is automatically taken as 30 degrees. Accordingly, if we calculate the length of the 30 degree elbow, we can easily find the length of the pipe. The formula for cutting the elbow with any degree is as follows. 
Elbow length is equals tangents in bracket elbow angle divided by 2 multiplying 38.1, multiplying nominal pipe size of elbow. So, let's write of our example details on this formula. Elbow length is equals tangents in bracket 30 degree divided by 2 multiplying 38.1, multiplying 6 inch. Using the calculator, we find that the tangents in bracket 30 degree divided by 2 multiply 38.1, multiply 6 inch will be equals 61. So, we calculated and found that the 6 inch 30 degree elbow center to end dimension will be 61 millimeters. Now, look at the fit up process pipe elbow to pipe in the pipelines. During fit up, such are opened between the pipe fittings to be welded, and a gap of approximately 3 mm. Having this gap is for better root welding. We should take these gaps into account when calculating the length of the red color pipe section. Let's start to calculate this red color pipe section length now. If we subtract the lengths of the two pieces 30 degree cut elbows and the gaps for welding from the total length, we can find red color pipe section length. So, pipe length will be equal, total length 1200 mm, minus 2 times 6 inch 30 degree but weld elbow dimension 61 mm, and minus 2 times gaps for welding 3 mm. At last, we calculate and found pipe length will be equals 1072 mm. This education video is finishing here, if you find our content valuable don't forget liking and subscribing. Your support is incredibly valuable to us and motivates us to produce high quality videos. Thank you for visiting the Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We're excited to embark on this educational journey with you.